Let's walk people through the FUD that is the internet getting shut down and what that would happen to Bitcoin. Yeah. So uh, I know many of us Bitcoiners get shit on for exactly what Q said. Like people say, oh, if the internet goes down, Bitcoin can't work. Uh, we're talking about you, the Rumble crowd. We know. We know. Uh, the Rumble crew. Uh, I mean, one thing is you can't bash us in the comment section because the internet's down. So there, there is that. But uh, one of the things was uh, Bitcoin is meant to be used and it's meant to be a robust system that can survive a state level attack, whether it's nuclear, whether it's shutting down your internet or whatever. So there was a user that currently used a ham radio in order to open up or make a lightning invoice payment. I'm pulling it up on the screen now. I find this really fascinating that you can see that a transaction was sent from Toronto down to San Francisco and there was a lightning invoice that was paid over a frequency on ham radio. I think this is very cool. I think it's a way that Bitcoin becomes more robust. Obviously, uh, if the internet were to go down, it obviously affects miners and signaling and uh, a lot of other things in that area that would definitely hamper the network. But I think the network would still propagate and begin to run. Uh, I made the joke that we see you NVK up in Toronto sending, uh, you know, ham radio transactions to the Silicon Valley bros to say, I'm like, you know, this thing still works. Uh, but yeah, no, I think it's really, really cool. Anything to add, P or Q? Yeah, I just want to point out, like, this is something that, uh, it's funny you mentioned NVK. He actually did this uh, a couple of years back, just sending a an on-chain Bitcoin transaction. I also want to, you know, uh, point out that if the, if the internet were to go down, um, we would have much larger problems in the short term than whether or not a Bitcoin transaction could uh, could be transmitted. And to your point, though, Chris, uh, there are the Blockstream satellites that uh, you can connect to that are completely independent of the internet. Uh, Bitcoin is extremely robust. And as soon as there was any kind of, um, you know, uh, sort of re restarting of a global communications network, um, everything would, uh, rather Bitcoin would be able to continue to operate as usual. Once the nodes got back online, and in the meantime, as you're pointing out, there are many ways to um, to create and broadcast a Bitcoin transaction. So, main takeaway is just like uh, the idea of you know quantum computing being thrown around as fud around Bitcoin. It's uh, it's not something you got to worry about. Or yeah, rather- Q, if you don't if you don't mind, if I hop in here real quick, two things. Uh, McTimmy, I just pulled up on screen. Heard you can also use SMS to send Bitcoin transactions. This is true. We're seeing a lot of this out of Nigeria because they mainly only have cell phones, and uh, what what they're doing is they're sending peer to peer, sending Bitcoin peer to peer over SMS messaging. I have not seen the software and how it works, but I've seen videos of it. it seems very very cool. And then also Winsome Hack also brought up that Blockstream has their satellite. I think we brought it up as well. So mesh networks satellites, maybe even using, uh, what's Elon Musk's thing? I always forget. Uh, Starlink. Starlink has to be another way to broadcast transactions and use internet. Speaking of MVK, I know that's what he has out in the woods wherever he is in Canada. So he, he likes it. He says it works well. And I've, I've heard the same from other people as well.